Shut up, compressor. Yeah, low shoot from low Hey everyone, Matt here with Duke's Models, and welcome back to the Weasel Off, where I take a comparative look at different elements of the F4G Wild Weasel kits from Meng and Zukimira. This time out, we're going to be talking about wingtips and wingtip engineering. Now, anybody who has built a Phantom before knows that they have, you know, sort of like a basic central wing, or inner wing, and they have this outer wing that kind of sits, you know, sits at, a, at an angle. I believe the angle is like, I want to say 12.7 degrees, but that's probably wrong. I don't know where the hell I remember, that may be the stabilators, but they sit at some kind of an angle, right? And this is tackled different ways by different manufacturers. Hasegawa has a thing where the wingtip is like already just molded in there at the right angle. And that's awesome. That's like the best part of that kit. Academy introduced this thing where you have the wings kind of like this. And well, I think to me, I actually introduced it with their 132nd pants, whatever. Academy kind of brought it back in 148th where you have the wingtip kind of like sit into the wing and you have like a little slot kind of thing. And it's very Italy esque where it's like, is it the right angle? Maybe, possibly, and Zuki Mira basically took that idea and just ran with it. And so what you get with the Zuki kit is you get that little tab and slot design, just like so. And yeah, that looks pretty good from up top, right? Like that. Then when you turn it over, you get a pretty decent sized gap in the wing hinge, which granted, you know, it is going to hinge because it's supposed to open, but... You want it, you know, a little bit tamer than, than you know, huge and misshapen. And you don't want it looking like that up top. <sighs> so it's one of those where it's just vague enough to be really maddening. I mean, this is one of those areas on an aircraft where it's so much preferable to just have it lock in in one way with no wiggle room whatsoever. Speaking of wiggle room, we can do this. <laughs> Italy would be so proud. So I fought this on the, uh, on the F4D that I built, and I'm glad to see that they haven't changed a fucking thing for these ones. Yeah, it's, yeah, and one fun thing about these is if you look at the design of this, right, you see that the lower part is a little bit proud. It sticks up a little bit from the rest of it. And so you might be tempted to think, well, if I just shave that down a bit, everything will be great. But if you were to shave that down... This is my F4D experience talking. You create more of a gap down here, not less. So if anything, you actually need to like build that up or you need to build up up here, which is really dicey because of the terrain that you're working in. So the best bet is just to be smart about gluing it. <laughs> but uh, so annoying because it's so close to being really good. Like if this tab were a little bit thicker, if it extended a little bit further in to where it just removed all doubt, all wiggle room, it would have been great, but nope, just little vague tab that kind of, you know, waves at you. So if that's how Zuki Mira does their wingtips, how does Meng do it? Well, I have a little pet theory, and that pet theory is that somebody at Meng built a Zuki Mira kit and made a whole bunch of notes. So instead of having a tab that you slide in before you join the wing, you've got this little box with these two rings, right? And here you've got this little tab with these two holes. And watch what happens when those two meet. Ooh. Amazing. They actually sit in a you know proper relation to each other, and they don't move. Wow. I've got to work my way around the tape here to get this all joined up. and then get all the various holes and shit aligned. Do a little bit of pressing, and boom, there's your, there's your wingtip that doesn't fucking move. You know, even when this thing isn't fully locked down yet, 
And once it is locked down, it's even better. Like, that's perfect. That's all you need. That That is great. That is exactly what Zukimura should have done. And that is what Meng did. And I love it. It's great. It, it hands down, hands down blows the Zukimura approach out of the water. You know, and what happens if we flip it over and look at the bottom? Look at that. That also looks great. Everything is perfect. So who wins this fight? Honestly, there's really no point in even bringing Zukamira back in for a final mention here because Meng just walks away with this one. They know, you know, exactly how they want this to go together, and they pull it off. And I, again, it feels very much like they went to school on the Zukamira kit and they understood what worked really well about it and what didn't work really well about it. This is one of the things that didn't work really well, where, you know, Zukamira stumbles, falls to the ground, the main kit walks right past them, zero troubles passes this test with flying colors. So we're now tied at 2-2. Seat and cockpit versus fuselage and wingtip. How will it go from here? Keep watching. Uh, keep an eye out for additional weasel off videos. And in the meantime, you gotta be shitting me.